So I'm trying to regulate her body temperature again and make it hot so her stomach can maybe, you know, fight. Oh Lord, she better start crying again. Like she's been screaming all day. Infamil, I love y'all and all, but y'all suck at making supplements. No, I'm telling you now, this is probably why all babies are, even, all babies, not premature babies, not regular babies, not obese babies, it doesn't matter what type of baby. I think if they're taking this and drinking formula regardless of anything, I don't know what y'all doing to these products, but they suck, okay? All they do is leave your baby constipated, in pain, screaming, fussing, and then people be like, oh, well, maybe it was this, maybe, no. It's most definitely this, and it's most definitely the formula. It'll never be anything else. So the only reason why she was able to poop earlier, and I can't show you because her poop actually looks disgusting. Like It's to the point where I'm about to Google why her poop looks so nasty. I'm talking about it looks like snail. It looks like a snail came out her butt. That's disgusting, okay? I don't know what is in her poop, but it's causing her discomfort and it's pissing me off okay Oop, okay I keep massaging her stomach and it's not working I use this and I use that um yeah so I'm not gonna be giving her this at full dose anymore I don't care what the hospital told me I don't care what a doctor tells me you're not gonna tell me how to give something to my child right now if it's hurting her so if she has to take this she'll take it in multiple increments tiny increments that I think is for a baby. Because I think what they told me. Is not proper for a tiny baby. It's just. It's impossible. If it's going to be causing her this much discomfort. It should not. It's just too high of a dose. So. To show you. Did I get it? Urgh. Open. I know I got it. Here we go. To show you, and I don't want to spill this on myself because I will be mad. Alright. Crap, nothing came in the tube. Give me a second. I just want a little bit. What I think is proper for a baby is half of what they actually told me to give her. So I'm going to keep this over here. This is what I'll be giving her. So, what? Three of these. Let me dump some out. Yeah, three of these at this amount to equal up to what they told me, but just at smaller doses. Like, and they're saying twice a day, so that means six doses of pinky sized doses for her versus what they told me to give her. Let me see if I could get this back open. Getting good with one hand. All right. This is what they told me to give her. That's too much, okay? It might be just right, but not for a baby that's... you. This is like probably just sucking all of everything out of her to get to... I don't know, but this ain't working out for her. So, it's smaller doses is what I'll be giving my child. You are not about to tell me. Then, this stuff. I don't even know what this stuff is. Never seen it before a day in my life. And yet, they're telling me to give it to my child. Of course, it could always say, let me show you. It could always say, oh, none of this, none of that. This is going to help this, this, and this. But they don't tell you, oh, it might damage your baby's insides. Or it's trying to help them grow. And I'm like, it's angering me because I keep, they're trying all these new things on babies, like experiments. That's what I feel like they're doing. They're experimenting with people's children. Because this, this, this sugar honey iced tea wasn't here back in the day, okay? Everybody had the same milk back in the day. Everybody had the regular everything. This sugar honey iced tea, you ain't finna tell me that this can help my baby grow for real without damaging her. 
I don't know what this is. They just probably popped this out, what, a year ago? I don't know when they made this stuff. It don't even matter. I've never seen it before. Never heard of it. I got to give my baby this stuff. And I'm angry. Because, first of all, again, she was the same exact. Listen close. Same exact. Wait, it's her sister. 5.4. I can show you both their birth certificates, only the weight part. 5.4, you understand? So you mean to tell me that you want her to grow quicker and be damaged just so y'all can make profit? That's what I feel like y'all doing. Y'all working with these people to make profit. Because there's no way in the world you mean to tell me this stuff was not here back in the day. And they didn't give it to her sister, but they want me to give it to her. But they were the same exact weight. And... I just, I just don't understand, okay? Yeah, I'm upset. Because her cries are, like, loud. It sounds like I'm down here trying to kill her. And it's irritating me. I can't show you her poop again. It's, it's trifling, and I don't want nobody complaining in my video. Tell us, why are you showing poop, and why are you not showing this? None of your freaking business. <sighs> Just upset because I can't help my baby. Like I'm helping her and it's not working. That's why I'm irritated. Cause no matter how good or how long I massage her stomach, look, if she jumps, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Let me see. I can't find her stomach hold on. See? Just that little slight little touch. And she's like ready to jump up and have a fit. I'm going to make her hot, not feverish hot, but I'm just trying to make her hot enough for her body to regulate. Um, I gave her some water. I gave her some water. That helped her get that, where's that pamper? That helped her get that pamper out. Because she's not pooping. Like, yeah, I'm not about to wait days and days. I gave her some water. She took well to it. She didn't spit it up or anything. So she did well with that. So I'm going to give her some more water. One of these. All the way up to the top. She did excellent. And then. Try to work this other poop out. Because it's there. It's not coming down. It's literally stuck. I moved her legs. Squished it up to here. Like they said do. Do the bicycle with the legs. Press and massage and bring it down. I did all of that. Nothing worked. So. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to have this blanket for a long time. Anything that she touch. <laughs> I'm keeping Except for the furniture. I don't keep baby furniture. But there's shirts. Certain shirts. Certain blankets. And hats and stuff. It's worth keeping for memories. She's uncomfortable because it's like probably trying to come down. And she's like. She's doing exactly what Maya used to do. Maya used to not let her poops come out. She literally fought them back up. And I do the same thing. If I don't feel like pooping, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold it. But holding it messes up your system. Me, I can go weeks without going to the bathroom. That's my normal. I don't want that for the kids. So I have to force them in ways to go to the bathroom. You, you, you cannot let a child go too long without pooping. It starts messing up their... Um, Whatever's down there that gives senses to the brain to go poop, it starts messing it up. And I've dealt with that with Maya, and it's, it was terrible. I just don't feel like going through that again. So I'm fighting it early because I already know that that plus some iron, and plus that might have iron in it. No, it might be causing her 
issues plus my breast milk has iron so she's taking too much iron in the first place I don't understand their logic but these dang on doctors they just don't care about people's kids they think they know what's best again my iron pills are all the way over there plus my supplements because the milk supply has ran low again and it's barely there and yeah out of that she has too much stuff and there's not enough space in here so you might see a change in some uh change in scenery soon um if you guys are watching this whole entire video i appreciate you i really do i'm not getting paid off youtube again i do it for memories I'm upset like I'm literally this is causing me to be upset like it feels like I'm not doing a good enough job because it's not working I feel awful like she pooped early I was proud of myself because it worked earlier but having to do it again and it not work I don't know what's going on with her butt system but I'm gonna need it to get it get it together okay I'm gonna need you to get it together I'm gonna need you to <laughs> and it's like I want her to sleep I want her to be relaxed because she's been up all day and all night crying so if you see me just filming her sleeping like this was the total opposite just what yeah 10 minutes ago before this video she was screaming her freaking brains out peed on my bed and everything I'm so mad she peed. <laughs> she peeing on my sheets. Um, and then what? I don't know what time it was in the middle of the night, but I had plans to go make some money and go donate plasma. And I couldn't because I was so scared to leave her in the hands of somebody else. Doesn't matter who it was. I was so scared to leave her because of her stomach. And they're not going to understand why she's crying. Even if I tell them. She's going to be crying because she's constipated. And I know that person, you know, deals with children very well. But me, I'm overprotective of my babies. And I don't care if I'm down to my last penny. I just could not leave her because I was so scared. Just like, yeah, just like I just said, she just started screaming her head off. Screaming her head off like I was killing her. Just from doing this. Just that caused her to scream like that and I was like no I'm not leaving my child because if they hurt her they don't know they're hurting her or they do know they're hurting her and they probably don't care I don't have time for that so I just ignored it because all I'm doing is just with my money I'm just buying pampers and wipes I'm trying not to get emotional but yeah I'm just buying pampers and wipes because I'm scared I'm run out of pampers and wipes and not be able to get them some more pampers and wipes because I can't work right now I got both my babies and I'm going through a lot but don't nobody care it's cool it's cool um doing the best that I can I just don't want to leave them you know because she chokes on everything that she eats like a psycho so I can't trust nobody to feed her and if they do feed her they'll only be allowed to feed her a banana and applesauce and I don't want her eating that all day I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone and her her stomach hurts I don't want to buy hurt her stomach or thinking she's hungry when she's not because she's crying or holding her and it's, uh, it's too much okay so yeah I was just gonna go make some pampers and white money that's all I buy now it's pampers and wipes so I won't run out because she literally used three pampers in a row. That one, it's one over there. And then I just threw one in the um, trash. So I'm going to get off of this and I'm going to. What's that word called? I'm going to Google why her poop looks disgusting like that. Because it was all bright and yellow and yellow like that light. And now it's dark green. Like 
Ta. So I'm going to fix her if it's the last thing I do. Every time I smell her or hold her, something hurts. <laughs> they hurt really, really bad. But I don't, I'm, I don't want her in pain right now. It says, Mama, Major, and Majesty. Until next time. Uh, let me lift her up. Um, so the gas don't travel back up and hurt her chest. There you go, baby. Let me not talk because then she'll wake up. <laughs> Alright. Shout out to our real supporters. Thank you for everything.